Hi everyone, this is Patrick from Waitly. This is a quick overview video going over how Waitly works and what the process looks like for you and your customers. We'll get started by creating a waiting list for John's artwork store here, uh, specifically for this girl with a pearl earring painting. As you can see, I can purchase this product, I can add it to my cart and go through the checkout as usual. Of course, we don't want that, we want our customers to have to join a waiting list and wait their turn before purchasing the product. To do that, it's super simple. All we have to do is hop on over to the Waitly app and click Create Waiting List. Here you can see the creation process. It's only two steps, it's super simple. You just have to select the product that you want, make sure you click Add, and if you want, you can rename the waiting list name. Uh, like it says, it's only for internal use. Your customers won't see this, so in most cases, you can just leave it to default. That's what I'll do, just leave it as the default, and then click Create. You can see that it's now populated in our waiting lists area there, uh, but we'll hop on over to the product page again to see what happens on the product page. So as you can see, the Add to Cart button has been replaced with this Join Waiting List section. So there are a few elements here. First up is this Waiting List text. So this is all customizable by you. Uh, by default, we say there are X number of people on the waiting list, click the button below to join. We have this special little variable uh, which will uh, show the number of people that are currently on the list. We go into depth explaining how you can insert that within the settings, uh, but it's super customizable and you can add a lot of information in there, which is super helpful for your customers. You can also change this join waiting list button. So you can change the text within it and the color of the button to match your brand. In this case, green works pretty good with John's Artworks brand. So we'll just get started. So in this case, I am a brand new customer. I've never used John's artwork store before. I've never purchased anything from John. So when I click this join waiting list button, uh, a model pops up asking me to register for an account and join the waiting list. So in this case, I'll do just that. I am Jane Doe, and I will put in my email and password, and click register and join waiting list. Once that processes, you will see a congratulations message, which is, again, customizable by you within the waiting settings. So after a customer joins the waiting list, two things happen. First, an email is sent to the customer saying, that they're currently on the waiting list for the product. Just a confirmation email. Uh, here is, again, fully customizable. So here you can explain sort of maybe why you have the waiting list and maybe as well explain that for them to keep an eye on their inbox so that they know when they're available to a product, a purchase the product. Our default email goes over a bit of that. And we also have these two variables that you can see that just say you're currently position number one on the product list of X amount of people. So this can change as more people are activated or removed from the waiting list or added to the waiting list. Those numbers will all change, but it's a good uh, notifier for the customer uh, to see what their status is on the waiting list. And the one other email we send out is to you, the store owner, and it's just a quick notification email that says Jane Doe has joined your waiting list. Um, and then we say, if you want, visit the Waitly app and you can manage the waiting list. So if we hop back into Waitly, uh, we can just click into our product waiting list here. And there we go, we see Jane Doe is number one on the waiting list. So as this populates, we can search through and filter the customers. And uh, yeah, there's two functions for the customers, of course, the first most important one is to activate them, and then the other one is to remove them from the waiting list. If for some reason you need to remove a customer from a waiting list, the option is there. So in this case, we're going to activate Jane Doe. We click that and we see the Jane Doe has been activated successfully. A few things happen once again. Um, first off, they're automatically moved to the active list, so you can see they're, they're status on the active list, what number they are. In this case, of course, Jane's the only one, so she is in first position. 
And the other thing that happens is we send an email to the customer, uh, just confirming that they are now able and allowed to purchase the product. So when we hop back over to our email, we can see that the customer was sent a notification email, sort of just confirming that they are now able to purchase the product. Basically just says, congratulations, you can now purchase uh, pearl earring painting. This email is fully customizable. Again, you can put whatever text you want in here and you can change the button text and the button color as well. And of course, like the other email, we include um, your brand's logo that you uploaded during the installation process here so that your customer doesn't get confused at all. So once the customer clicks this purchase button, they are sent right back to the product page and they can now see, okay, there's now one person on the waiting list. So here they can just click this sign in button, put in their email and password that they just signed up with. And when it refreshes, they can see that they can now purchase the product. They can now add the product to their cart. They can buy it now. They can go through the whole checkout process. So that's pretty much the entire Waitly process. It's super simple once you get the hang of it. And I think it can be super useful for a lot of store owners. If you have any questions at all, feel, please feel free to email us at hello at wait.li and we'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or you can go to our website and click contact us and fill out this form here. I hope that helps and I look forward to helping you with Waitly.